it's an interesting point. The, the number of visas that will be granted by certain countries is probably going to go down. The number of foreign students allowed is probably going to go down. But I, I want you to understand, I didn't disagree with anything that the minister said. I really liked what the minister said, as, as I did the other, the other speakers. <clears throat> I don't want you to think that I believe that cultural diplomacy will take place on the internet alone. I believe the internet is the portal into real cultural diplomacy. You are absolutely right. If, if we're not going to send an orchestra to North Korea, the North Koreans are never going to connect with us in a way that, that they should. But I'm hoping that enough North Koreans will get on the internet at some point to say, I'd like to see some of these Americans. I'd, I'd kind of like to see what they're all about. They, that seems like an interesting rock band or an interesting book or an interesting orchestral event. I'd like to be able to identify with that. I think you're absolutely right that, you know, St. Thomas Aquinas said, if you haven't traveled, you're reading the same page of the same book every day. And, and cultural diplomacy for me is the richness of the event. And I'm just hoping that the internet will spark that event, but it won't be the event itself. Thank you very much. Good. Time for only one last question. You have no idea how relieved I am. <laughs> All right. Hi, my name is Yuna Lee. I'm a Fulbright scholar based in Berlin. I'm also a journalist. Um, so I had a question regarding North Korea, actually, since you kept on bringing it up. Since so I know nothing about it, then <laughs> speaking about it, yes. Uh, I'm just curious. So you talked about this North Korean dissident um, who left this country after he found yeah. out about uh, the existence of cars and also um, about the phenomena of Chinese cell phones in North Korea. But if you look at YouTube, I mean, you see raw footage from villagers who have smuggled out footage in the past 10 years, and nothing has really changed in regard to uh, US's policy on North Korea. So how do you think things will be different now um, in terms of North Korean pol policy and cultural diplomacy? Uh First, I want to say something about that North Korean dissident. I think he's extremely brave. I think he's extremely courageous. And I think he went to South Korea for the most superficial of reasons. I can't believe he went. <laughs> but they were meaningful to him. So, you know, who am I to judge? But I was shocked. I thought it would be some profound heart change. It was because he wanted to wear the clothing that he chose. And, and to me, that was kind of shocking. I, I guess it's kind of sweet, in a way, that it's so fundamental a right that he demanded it. But it did, it did surprise me. I do believe that a number of the questions today suggest a truth, which is the internet is going to open up opportunities, but it's not going to change things immediately. It's not going to be the kind of substantive change. You're right. We can send rock groups into North Korea for 10 years. It doesn't mean that the North Koreans are going to feel differently about us, but we're going to feel differently about them. But I will tell you one historical example. The first American entertainer to go to Cuba after Fidel Castro took over was the uh, piano player, Billy Joel. And they said to Billy Joel, you're going to be able to play in this enormous arena in Havana, and I think it'll be filled with young people, but you just need to understand they're not going to know any of your music, they're not going to know any of your songs, because we haven't permitted it. And Billy Joel said, of course, they sang every note, they, they knew every word, they had listened to every song, because they wanted to connect with a culture that they thought was dynamic and exciting and perhaps a little bit uh, sneaking around on the government. But Billy Joel said, I was stunned. I didn't mind. I, I, I wanted to be uh, the person who brought rock music to Cuba. They had rock music. They had my music years before I went there. That was an encouragement to me. And I think it's somewhat uh, the example of, of North Korea. I, and I don't mean to be trite when I say this, but I think the internet can only help in the North Korean situation because there are several countries like North Korea where it can't get much worse. We don't have a dialogue with them. We, we treat each other very badly. Uh, the world community is about to do something significant for the missile. And, and I think North Korea says, good, we can't wait. We're going to do something in, in return. And I think that the global digital world can help break down those barriers and get the communication started. Thank you very much. I'm sure that it is easy.
the audience here are small questions, but <laughs> we are limited by time. My pleasure. And uh, please join me to thank uh, for